<laughs> and so uh, I'm in the van in the morning and I look at it and then, you know, I, fairly rapidly I realize that there's a tetrahedron on the bottom of it. Okay, this part here is a tetrahedron if it's seen in 3D. And then I looked up here and I realized that uh, in 3D, those lines would generate as well a noctahedron. See, the thing is, is that most people don't see this thing as a 3D object. So flatten, it makes not much sense. But in 3D, it describes very specific geometry. So I, because I had this type of 3D mind, and I was always very intended on not doing the flat thing, um, I was trying to visualize this in 3D. And, but I couldn't figure out this middle box thing. I just couldn't figure it out for weeks, months. <laughs> Just like, you know, laying in my bed looking at this thing and studying and all this. And then one day, um, I said, wait a minute. I realized that one of those boxes in the middle here, okay, matches the box in the top portion of the octahedron. So I thought, what if I slid the middle part box in the upper box and see what it generates. So I split them in two and then I slid the bottom part into the top part. And when I did so, it was like a key, right? It just locked in and generated all the vectors necessary to have a tetrahedron and an octahedron, one on top of each other. So now I add all these vertices for 3D ge geometry. These are the only geometry necessary to produce a 64 tetrahedron grid. So I knew I was close. <laughs> so I started to, I, I, I got really excited and I started to, I continued studying and intensely studying, and I realized something, is that the Kabbalistic text doesn't say there's one tree at the root of foundation, uh, at the foundation of, of uh, the universe, or at the root of the universe. There is four trees at the root of the universe. And they said that the four trees were attached at the same root. Um, now I thought, well, wait a minute. Maybe they're still giving us only half the code. Maybe there's eight trees, and they're only giving us the polarity, the half polarity of the code. I looked at my structure again that I had come up with from sliding the bottom into the top, and I realized I had extra lines. And these extra lines match the lines to generate the star tetrahedron. So if I got all the branches of the tree, and then I attach the eight trees together, I would have eight star tetrahedrons coming together to generate the 64 tetrahedron grid. And what told me had decoded this right was that by the time I was finished, I could now plaster the Kabbalistic tree right over top of the 64 tetrahedron grid and get all the nines of the 2D tree out of the 3D geometry. It worked. And hooked all together it generated all the intersection necessary to build a 64 tetrahedron grid. And when uh, I calculated this, then I saw that it could be done in many different ways. But one thing that was for sure 
the Kabbalistic text said, actually, there's 10 spheres, they're called sephiroths, and they come from the word sapphire, okay? So, actually, it's talking about crystals again, and it says that these sephiroths are the joints between the pathways of creation, and it said that there was this 10 sephiroth to one tree, but because they're whole hooked to the same center, to the same root, which is called the, um, the crown sephiroth, which is described as a point of indwelling where God falls or God goes towards infinity. Okay? Basically describing a singularity. When, when they say that, they say that one doesn't count. So you get nine sephiroth per tree. Well, if you have eight trees and you've got nine sephiroth per trees, eight by nine is 72, and now you're right back to the 72 powers of God, and you've, the, the code has brought you all the way back to the beginning in a feedback loop of coding information. And so uh, I continue to find the solution to this, we did a small animation on how the trees come together, and it's literally the trees compressing together, creating that collapse into singularity, generating the code. It's quite amazing. Then it generates all the joints necessary to produce the 64 tetrahedron grid. 